our channel. For those who are new here, my name is Jenny and this is my husband Uni. Okay, so we just actually came back from our vacation recently, which is like two weeks ago. Um, and one of the places we visited in the Philippines was Boracay. So, so yeah, we just want to share the experience that we had in Boracay. Let's get to the video. Let's get to the video. Hey friends, welcome to Boracay. So here we are, we started our journey from Cebu to Boracay via Cebu Pacific Airlines. We boarded at 8 o'clock in the morning at Reach and Cataclan Airport at 9 o'clock. Okay, so mind you guys that there are two airports in Aklan, which is Calibo and Cataclan. We chose Cataclan because according to my research, this is the nearest um, airport which will take you to the ferry port which will take you again to the White Island which is in Boracay. Upon reaching the port terminal, please remember that you have to show them your hotel booking confirmation otherwise they will not allow you to enter the island. In the port itself, we paid tourist fee 200, terminal fee 50, environmental fee 140, ferry fare 50. So the total of what we paid as a couple is 440. After we checked in in our hotel, we head straight to our breakfast or lunch which is in Sunnyside Cafe. The food is so great, we really recommend it and you should try it guys. the reopening of Boracay, you can really see the improvements. All restaurant has its specific place to serve food. Plastics are not allowed, especially straws. Also, no walking vendors allowed along the area. Everyone should have their own specific place, which is great. Most importantly, smoking anywhere is not allowed. There is just a specific place for people to smoke. For our first dinner, we decided to dine in Coast. The food is great and most of all, they have wide selection of drinks. By the way guys, the hotel that we stayed in is Chatsu de Boracay. It includes everyday breakfast and that's what made it so convenient. After the breakfast, we head straight to the beach and did activities such as kayaking and parasailing. In this beautiful paradise, you wouldn't mind the heat. All you have to do is to enjoy the most out of it and that's what we did. Boracay is one of the most beautiful sunset I've ever seen. People gather to witness the sailing boats which makes the scenery as beautiful as in the painting. Its golden color sky will make you realize that the Philippines has still have so many beautiful places to offer.
third and last full day, we head to the beach and had few drinks afterwards. And just like that, it was indeed another beautiful weather in paradise. As it is our last day, same like everyone, we took more photos in our last sunset here in Boracay. We also checked the famous D Mall where plenty of international cuisine served in more or less 100 of restaurants and shops in the area. And of course, as we support locals, we bought few souvenirs for ourselves in a not so expensive price. Nightlife in Baraka is another experience where we really suggest that you guys to try. Almost most of the bars and restaurants offers happy hour and buy what get one offers. Also, for those who are in a budget trip, fast foods are also available here such as KFC and McDonald's and many more. So we suggest that you take your time to look for a place where you and your budget enjoy. And that concludes our trip here in Boracay. For those of you who have questions, please drop your comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the watching the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hi guys! Hi friends! <laughs> hey, and this is my husband. <laughs> you don't know your husband's name? <laughs>